Hey, this is Andrew from AJS Woodworks. Previously, I made a video showing how to fix a leak on a Honda Accord. The leak comes in right here at the passenger side window, the A pillar, and that worked for a little bit when I fixed it, but I used silicone, and you're not really supposed to use silicone on a car. So I actually got my windshield replaced, and the leak was still there, and I had thought it was along the windshield seal. That wasn't it, although it did help a little bit, probably because I put it up here a little bit on the roof channel, which turns out is most likely the issue when they manufactured the car. They didn't put enough roof sealer, auto body sealer, under here on the roof channel, and so I guess the, the there's two layers of metal that are overlap, and they didn't seal the crack quite right, and so water will eventually leak through there if the seal breaks. So the solution to that is to use auto body sealant and not silicone because silicone will actually trap water and break down the metal on your car. So here's the auto body sealant that is recommended made by 3M and there's a link to purchase it on Amazon below the video. So the first thing you'll want to do is turn up the side of this roof channel and you'll find little clips. So if I pull up right here, you'll see those little clips in there. And you just want to take a flathead screwdriver and pop those little green parts out of the white outer clips. Alright, so in order to get the rest of it off, you have to slide this piece towards the front of the car in order to disconnect this tab at the end, and then slide this whole trim piece towards the middle of the car to get it off of the clips, like that. Then, you go down to the front of the car, and you should be able to pull off, slide it off all the way. All right, so you can see after the trim piece is taken off, that roof channel, which is where the issue is, is pretty gunked up. So we're gonna take all the sticks and leaves out and also the white clips so that we can clean it a little better. All right, so in order to get the white clips off, you just take a flathead screwdriver and put it up under the little plastic clip and pop it up so that you can slide the clip forward. And then it just pulls straight out. So you see there's the little knob that it attaches to and it just slides off. I've got the roof channel all cleaned out. I'm just gonna dry it out with a rag now. If you can see, this little lip right here is where the issue is. So there's some auto body sealant here. You can feel it's a little bit squishy. It's not quite like the rest of the metal. Um, and so up under this edge or along this edge is where the leak is gonna be. So unless you have a lot of rusting and just erosion through the metal along this corner, you shouldn't need to put any auto body sealant here but definitely along here is where you're going to need it all right so i'll just start putting on the auto body sealant i have everything cleaned up this is what it looks like all right so now i have the auto body sealant on put a little bit down there at the bottom and uh so i just put it on pretty liberally um I don't want to have to take that rail off again and try to fix another leak. So, here you go. Just right along that edge. But what I'm going to do is clean up a little bit of the sealant from around these little knobs here. 
before it dries and it actually dries pretty quickly. Alright, so this is what I meant by cleaning it up. Basically just get it away from those knobs so that the clips can slide back in because the clips have to have a little bit of real estate in order to, to get back in. Get the knob, line it up, and slide it towards the back of the car. Next, we'll just put the roof trim back on and we'll be good to go. Alright, so I've got the roof trim back on. I just snapped it in down there on the windshield side, slid it onto the clips here, and then put it onto that knob at the end there to finish it off. So we'll just let this sealant dry, and then we can take care of the stain on the inside of the headliner, which unfortunately I had replaced. And actually there's some water right here so I know when I poured water right in that roof channel that's where it was leaking so in order to get rid of this stain I'm gonna try maybe some OxyClean or something with a little bit of bleach in it um, because of the light color of my headliner I don't think it would be too big of a deal but we'll see and once I figure out something that'll that'll get the stain off I'll let you know so I hope this video was helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching